Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Time Traveler's Handbook. Today we're going to be talking about immortality and its consequences in time loops like this. We can already see in Palm Springs that immortality is already kind of a heavy theme. Basically, when someone is stuck in a time loop, you are essentially immortal, but at the cost of reliving the same day over and over again. So this is a good example of what happens to a normal person that becomes immortal and kind of its consequences. Niles was in the loop for 40 years, according to the producers of the show. That's not forever, but it is a long time for a very limited set of experiences, so it can feel like much, much longer. As we can see from his example, one of the downsides to immortality is that you, while your body will live forever, your mind is not capable of containing all the knowledge of the experiences you have had. Your mind is not infinite, just as it is not infinite at any point in your mortal life, so eventually you're going to start forgetting things. Niles doesn't remember his life before the loops very well at all, which makes sense if everything you know from the last four decades is the same day over and over again. This can be avoided, but only through proper storage of information in places outside of your body, and unfortunately in this particular time loop there is no other way to store information without being able to take other things with you through the loop. Alas, the mind is the only thing that travels, so you have to work with what you've got. Now, immortality is interesting, but what's more interesting is when you have multiple immortal people sharing the room. In this case, we have three people, and how Niles relates to the other two can draw some further insight into immortality. We're going to start by talking about Roy and Niles' relationship, which is primarily one of pain and torture. Something to remember is that while the body is basically meaningless because any amount of damage that you do to it will disappear at the end of the day, the mind is not impenetrable to emotional, mental, and psychological damage. The memory of being tortured, being in pain, and other things give real people gives real people trauma and PTSD, among other mental disabilities. And those are some very real things that can happen to you in a time loop as well. Roy doesn't realize the pain that he's causing to Niles until he experiences it for himself after Sarah tortures him back. And after that moment, Roy sees the other side of things and says that it's better to not wish pain and suffering on other people. If you can't forget it, that pain will stay with you forever, especially in a closed off world where experiences are limited to a small subset. We're going to talk about Sarah and Niles' relationship in the next episode, since what happens to you for listening.